It's Saturday. It's time for a new weekly vlog. Good afternoon. It's Saturday and um, Kelly has gone to pick up Kaylin from her grandmother's house and then we are going to two graduation parties. We have one for my friend's son who just graduated from high school or is graduating from high school today. I'm not sure. And then my friend just finished her doctorate and we're going to that tonight. So I'm really excited to see people. I haven't seen my friends in a while and um, also get to show off Kelly because several of them have not met her. So that is going to be a good time. And I'm really looking forward to just kind of getting out. It's thunderstorming again today, of course. But um, this morning we just sat out on the porch for a little bit under the umbrella while it just kind of rained and then it started storming so we came in. But um, yeah, so I will keep you posted. <laughs> we came out to this little bridge. We're leaving the party and I just wanted to come out here. It's on the water. And there's like a fountain to keep the water moving so there's less mosquitoes. Good morning still. It's Sunday. It's almost noon. It's been kind of a rough morning for me because I've been just really emotional. I don't know if it's like hormonal. <laughs> Kelly's cleaning the bathroom. And she just woohooed. But I'm not sure why. Um, but I also am feeling really sick to my stomach because I made the mistake if you've watched me for a while, which you probably haven't because three people watch my channel, but I made a mistake some time ago, about six months ago, um, of eating cereal and I did it again today and now I feel like hot garbage on a stick. So anyway, I'm watching Tim Tracker. My mom is coming over for the first time. And bringing Ellie, who's staying with us for the next two nights, and we're gonna grill hamburgers. And Kelly went and got a new propane tank, and we just like got that connected. I say we. I was there for moral support, but I'm gonna go mix up the hamburgers in a little bit and chop some vegetables and you know do kitchen stuff. She's gonna grill them. I have minimal grilling experience myself, and um, we've grilled the past two Fourth of Julys on a charcoal grill. Uh. I'm not great at it. This is a propane grill. Kelly knows what she's doing. So, um, and it's kind of a cloudy, humid, sunny, cloudy day. It's supposed to rain again later tonight. I guess it rained for about 45 seconds, she said this morning when she was out doing something. I don't know what she was doing, but she and Kaylin went and got the new propane tank and then went to Dollar Tree. They were only gone for a minute. It was really quick. And, um, so that's the update, but mom's going to stay for lunch and sorry for the fan noise. And hopefully I'm not covering the mic with my hand because I feel like I am. So mom and Ellie are here. We just had a little cookout and didn't get any of that. Kelly got the grill all done. I made the burgers and she grilled them and, um, now everybody's out at the pool. Ellie and Kelly and Kaylin are in the pool. Mom's out sitting outside. So I'm going to go join them. And it's just too cold. The water's still too cold for me. Like, I just can't do it. It's like only 81 degrees because we've had so much rain lately. So, 
I'm gonna go sit outside with the fam and enjoy a little pool time shenanigans. She's a hidden Mickey. Uh, Ellie's like, my, mom, my mom's serenading us. Bad storm again. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Kaylin is currently rinsing her hair because I just dyed the tips pink. I hope she likes it. But we're watching Tokyo Drift. And. It's gonna storm. I go. Kelly made microwave s'mores. And we're watching Killing Eve. Of course we are. Good morning. It's Monday. I am waiting for Kelly. We went to pick up our car, came to pick up our car. We're gonna take it to go get inspected because it's not getting inspected here. But the brake light is fixed. So I'm trying to like she needs to run a couple errands she wants to take it to get inspected but we don't know if they have availability right now to inspect it so i'm not really sure i'm kind of thinking maybe i need to follow her there and find out first before i go back to the house the girls are still asleep they stayed up really late um in the room ellie's staying in and we're pretty sure so i guess we'll find out um there's it's like 10 40 ish and Kaylin has band camp. Other than that, we don't have plans. Kelly needs to run a couple of errands because we had some issues with the, the guest bathroom, Kaylin's bathroom toilet last night. So she's gonna run errands to try and get stuff to fix that. And then that's all that we have on the docket today. So um, obviously Ellie's staying with us tonight. So I know that she and I will hang out and do something. Even if it's just at the house. And we were gonna have, um, Kelly's friend Julie and her boys over to swim, but it's going to thunderstorm in the evening. So I don't know what's going to happen. So that is the update for now. Back home, Kelly's friend Christy is coming to get her lawnmower. So she's like leaf blowing it. She, we were going to drop the car or she was going to go run a couple of errands, but then we found out Christy was on the way. Meanwhile, the girls are still asleep. Ellie did text me, but she hasn't responded to my last text. So I'm curious to see. Oh no, she just texted me, yay. So I'm curious to see if they hung out last night and how late they hung out. Meanwhile, mom's power went out, so I was in constant conversation with her, making sure, do you want me to come get you? It was supposed to come back on at two. It looks like from the Encore map that it did come back on. And I texted her, her phone was about to die last night. So I'm hoping she plugged it in, even if the power was out so that when the power came on, it would charge. Um, but I did text her this morning asking if her power was on, but haven't heard from her yet. But it's kind of early for her, so she may still be asleep. Especially if the power was out and she was up reading and worrying about that last night. So, anyway, um, we may go to Hobby Lobby later and look at 4th of July stuff. Because I have this tiered tray that I've never gotten 4th of July stuff to decorate for. And Kelly loves 4th of July and loves those colors for summer. So, we may go do that today. Anyway, I think that is all for now. And I will check in with you later. Okay, so it's still just about one o'clock. I need to eat some lunch, but Ellie is in here with me. We're going to watch some Impractical Jokers here in a second. Kelly is taking Kaylin to band camp and then going to get the car inspected. And she's going to come back, fix the toilet, and then we're hopefully going to Hobby Lobby. But um, I did call and leave another message with the ADHD doctor. Um, haven't heard back yet, but I had emailed the therapist's office last night, separate, two separate things going on. Um, and she wrote me back today. And so I am scheduled for Thursday with my new therapist, um, Thursday evening at six. And then once I get back from Florida, then I will start going every other Thursday at four 30. So that is good. And it's a big relief that I'm getting in before I go out of town. Um, Ellie just played the piano for a little bit and, Kaylin's piano is, sounds so much better than my mom's. <laughs> Though my uncle is um, trying to teach himself how to tune the piano, so he was waiting for some tools. He already took the piano apart at mom's, and so he's hopefully going to be able to tune that. Um, he retired like in April or May, so I know, and he's a musician, so I know this is like um, gonna be possibly a hobby for him. Maybe a way to make some little cash, I don't know. But um, 
yeah, so I think that's the update for now. I'm going to eat my Panera leftovers in a minute. I'm getting kind of hungry, but I ate some oh, Captain Crunch for Deli. Do you have leftovers? I have some macaroni. Oh, so she has some macaroni she can eat. You know that for lunch. Oh. And, um, yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do right now. I just, in Practical Jokers, um, if you watched our California vlogs from 2019, so five years ago, that's when I got into it, was on that trip. We started watching it because it would be on whatever the network was um in like on on cable in the hotel and so i got like super into that it was like my comfort show and it still is i like to just watch it sometimes just brings me comfort even though it's so cringy and embarrassing but elena would watch that like crazy when yeah. we in practical jokers oh yeah when um we were in california and then once we got back we watched it a lot and now like all the episodes are on hbo max or on max as it's called um so, anyway, hopefully, oh, and I'll show, oh, Kelly brought me flowers from the grocery store, so it was very sweet, so I um, cut those stems and put them in a vase, and I will show those to you, I'll insert a clip right now. And she also got tomato plants, because I've been talking for weeks about how I wanted to get tomatoes, and like grow tomatoes, and I have these two planters at my mom's that I need to get and bring home so that we can transfer the tomatoes. So she got the tomato plants when she went to Lowe's, so that was very thoughtful. Oh, they're, they're playing with the forest of shiny things. Kelly is appropriately dressed for 4th of July shopping. Because you have red, white, and blue on. It's very fun. Yeah. Ellie, um, do you want to promote your channel real quick? Guys, go for me at Tabadachi save file. Okay. Ellie, where'd you get a water burger? Uh, honey butter wigs. Save wines now. That's pretty fire. I'm gonna steal them. And I got some fries. And I got nice tea. <sighs> so we are home from our little trip to Hobby Lobby. We found a few 4th of July items. <clears throat> I have a tiered tray that I generally decorate for the major holidays, but I want to, it's actually at mom's, I don't have it here right now, but we're going to get it on Friday, I think. Um, we have, there are several holidays I don't have anything for, 4th of July is one of them. So we found a few things and I'm going to have to fill in eventually. Um, I may do a Michael's trip, maybe tomorrow or sometime this week. I have a lot of appointments, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, a lot going on. So I now have two appointments on both Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday I have an appointment, and then we're supposed to go to mom's. So I may just drag Kelly with me to my appointment on Friday instead of having to drive back up. I don't know, because that means leaving Kaylin here for a long time, so, which she might like. I don't know. Anyway, Kelly left to go pick her up and run by the post office. And then we also, I'm all out of order. We also went to Whataburger. Um, cause Kelly, or not Kelly, Ellie hadn't eaten anything. And so she needed something to eat. And then Kaylin will probably need something on the way home from band camp. We are not going to have, um, Julie and her kiddos over because it's supposed to start storming like at five something. Again, I feel like we live in Florida now. But right now I just found a new YouTube channel called the Cruising Sisters and they have a um, whole series of when they did Jewel of the Seas, which is the ship that my family of origin is going on in July when we go to Amsterdam in the UK. So I was just kind of curious like what that ship was like because I've heard that it's not very nice. But like everything I've seen because this is the second vlog I've watched today that was of this ship and it actually looks really nice so i was kind of preparing myself to not to you know not have high expectations but it looks fine i mean yeah it's older i don't think they're kept up as much as the disney cruises but um yeah so that will be the first of two cruises that i'm going on this year because we're going on a four night cruise in december a very merry time cruise with disney out of Galveston on the Magic, which will be my second Disney ship and second Disney cruise. And Mom's and Ellie's and Parrish's too. And um, it'll be Greg's, Kelly's, and Kaylin's first 
um, Disney Cruise. And I think first cruise for all three of them. I'm not 100%. I feel like I'm talking very quietly. Anyway, Ellie's in the other room. I'm sure she's watching something on YouTube as well. <laughs> or Instagram or TikTok. But it's just been kind of a low-key day today. And um, that's where we're at. <laughs> Good morning. It's what day is it, Ellie? Tuesday. It's, it's Tuesday. It's, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, June 4th. It is Tuesday, June 4th. Ooh. Which is like the four month anniversary of when Kelly and I made our relationship official. <laughs> but she is out mowing. Kaylin is still asleep, or at least in her room. Luke is climbing the furniture. And Ellie just had some breakfast. Oh, he did. oh, he tried to accomplish up there. He wants to go up there next. He thinks it's a Because I saw him from right here looking up here. So I am ready ish early. Um, I think I heard Cameron get up and eat something, so that's good. And then Ellie is taking a shower in here. And we still have like an hour until we have to leave, so that's a good thing. But I'm already ready for a nap. So just sitting here minding my own business. Sorry for the packing stuff in the background, but this guy decided to get in the window and um, went a little berserk. So I'm gonna try and fix that real quick. <laughs> so I'm not sure how well you can see this, but the bracket got knocked out of the wall. So I guess I'm gonna need to help Kelly fix that this evening. Fun times. So Ellie bought some K-pop albums from her friend. She's picking them up now, and then we're gonna go eat lunch. Where are we? So at least fave. Absolute fave. So we just ordered bao buns and top fries to start. This is Ellie's, what is it called? Bobby did. Robbie Nick? No. She hates it. I try to pronounce it because I can't do it. Right. It has like a little marble guy in it. It's fun. I just got more iced tea. <laughs> Got the top fries. All good. Teriyaki chicken. <laughs> Sesame chicken. I am so full. She's trying to get into this. I love kind of scale. Refreshing. Head into World Market. Woo! Uh, I'm not sure why. I, I went to look at a few things because last time I was here they had some food and they had some cute stuff. Alright, so we just went to World Market Woo! and we bought way too much stuff. Yeah, so uh, I got these because my friend they're, got the right out there. Are good. they seaweed? Yeah. Okay. They're like fried seaweed. They're really good. And then I got these. I usually get them in mango, but this time I got them in pineapple. I do like pineapple. And then I got these. Dee got this. I thought she might want to try these. Thank we'll you. Yes. Okay, so yesterday I got the matcha. Oh, matcha paki. And then I have the strawberry, but strawberry is my favorite, so I got. We got that. And then Dee got this. I got some twirl bites. So when I would go to Ireland in the UK, like twirls were my favorite thing. Like they melt really well in hot tea or coffee. These are the bites that have full size ones. Okay, this. Uh... These are for Kaylin because she likes Kit Kats and these are the UK chunky ones. And I like the UK Twix and Kit Kats oh! are superior to the American ones. So the hockey spell, those. guys. Okay, I don't know if we're going to box this. Yeah, we're going to hang on to that because I'm not sure if I'm giving that to somebody today or not. And then chocolate pocky for Chalky. Kaylin. <laughs> Chalky pocky. And those are for me. Those are just because. Okay, so now I got this, this lip gloss. Woo! And I'm gonna do a test of it. Okay, so the Hello Kitty cream. Is it yeah. Good? Lip gloss. Oh my god. It's peach flavored? Yes, my favorite. It's terrible to me. Makes me want to vomit. I love bit. peach. Wait, hold on, guys. I wanna do a dark. test. I wanna do the test off camera. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, it's cute, it's cute, I like. It's cute. 
Did I put five out of ten? That's all. We are back at the house. Oh, I have a friend that just joined me. And Ellie is in the pool. Kelly, I saw for five seconds because she has a band boosters meeting. And I think Kaylin's in her room. So it's just me and Ellie and her whale. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I have not, I did not close out the vlog last night. Last night was kind of crazy. So Kelly mows in the summer and yesterday was her first day back. And so she was exhausted and I needed to take Ellie home, but I went and I didn't see Kelly, but like for maybe 30 minutes all day yesterday until um, after I took Ellie home. And Ellie had to get home in time to go with Greg to pick Parrish up from the airport. So, we, um, Kelly got a meeting, she picked up dinner for us, we ate really quickly, and then we hightailed it out of there because I wanted to be able to spend a little bit of time with her before she had to go to sleep. So that was how we concluded our day. Um, this morning I have a doctor's appointment and I have another appointment this afternoon. Kelly has already left to go mow. Um, and that's, and I think... I think today Julie really is coming over with the boys to swim because she's going to pick Kaylin up from band camp because we will both be at an appointment. So that is the plan. I also need to run by the ATM. And then I have two appointments tomorrow and an appointment on Friday and a hair appointment on Saturday. And then Sunday I'm going to be packing. Um, I think Saturday we're also planning on going out and having a date night before I leave town. Um, yeah, so that is the update for now. I'm just kind of biding my time until I have to leave and I'm going to get changed here in a little bit. It's also been raining really heavily, so I'm not sure how that's going to affect Kelly's day. Um, it stopped raining, but it's very soggy outside. So anyway, that's the update for now. And I will check in with you again later. Good morning. It's Thursday. <sighs> I'm headed to my eye appointment. I didn't close the vlog out last night. We had company. Um, Kelly's best friend, um, Julie, and her sons were here. And we hung out at the pool. They picked Kaylin up from band camp because Kelly and I had an appointment yesterday. So I um, I don't even know what else I've, I've said about yesterday. But I had, what appointment did I have? I had a gynecologist appointment. TMI. And then I um, went to Target to finish getting stuff for my trip because I leave next week. Um, this weekend, we have a, a couple of things happening. So I may just go ahead and include the weekend in this vlog since there won't be a weekly vlog for a couple of weeks. But today, I appointment coming back to take Kaylin to her last day of band camp. And then we have her concert this afternoon. And then I have my first therapy appointment. So... Hopefully that goes well. Plan on talking about the ADHD thing. I did get an appointment. I can't remember if I mentioned this. I got an appointment for ADHD testing the day after I come back from Florida. So that is good. That is checked off the list. <laughs> that reminds me of Kelly. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go to my appointment and I will hopefully check in with you guys later. Oh. Have I mentioned... I'm a tennis girlfriend now. Come on. I am. You got this. I am. The intensity. I'm headed to my first therapy appointment. I'm not really nervous. Um, I mean, it's good. I'm glad that I have this appointment. Uh, meanwhile, we went to Kaylin's band camp concert and they did a really good job. Like for only four days, it was fantastic. And obviously Kelly was watching tennis. I think they're going to get in the pool. We have some Sam's enchiladas that we froze that we're going to have for dinner tonight, I think. And then, um, yeah, so my appointment this morning, what was it? Oh, eye doctor. My eyes are healthy. I have healthy eyeballs, but I did get, did we talk about this? I may have. I did get a prescription for, um, it's not bifocals, but whatever the other word is. Um, because my distance vision is kind of shoddy now that I'm a little bit older. So there's that. And my cardiology appointment for tomorrow had to get moved because my referral was expired 
and I didn't, I needed a new one and they didn't, weren't able to get one in time. So that's annoying, but that will be after my trip. So, um, I'm going to go to this appointment. Good morning. It's Friday. This is going to be an extended weekly vlog, um, because I won't have one next week. So this will go through probably Sunday morning. Um, but anyway, I am headed to Duncan to pick up donuts for Kaylin mostly, but also me and Kelly because it is national donut day. I don't know if you knew that. Um, and then I'm going to Parrish's house to color Ellie's hair because we never got around to it when she was staying with us. So that is the plan for this morning. Later this evening, we're going to my mom's to get some more stuff. Kelly is mowing right now. Kaylin is still asleep as far as I know. And I just look tired. I look tired and old. It's good times. Anyway, so that's what's happening. So it's about an hour later and I think of all these things that I want to include in the vlog. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to get a clip of that. And then when it comes to doing it, I forget. So I was going to show you the donuts. I ate one donut. I got myself a chocolate cream filled, which is like the powdered sugar with the chocolate cream in the middle and a Boston cream. I knew I wasn't going to eat both of them right now because there's just no way. But I ate like most of the chocolate cream filled one. felt super sick afterwards. <laughs> so... I didn't get sick, which is a bonus, but also I don't think I told you guys this. So they called from my cardiologist. I was supposed to have that appointment this morning and they needed a new insurance or a new referral from my GP and that didn't go through until today. So I had to reschedule the appointment. Um, so I had the morning off essentially, but I am now headed to parishes, um, to go do Ellie's hair. We're going to probably do it outside just because it gets messy and they just had her bathroom remodeled. And if I remember, I will show you the bathroom. If it's, you know, clean, it's Ellie's bathroom, so. Well, I'm here. Ellie was still asleep, of course. So I had to let myself in. But um, my little friend is here. Look, it's Biscuit. Say hi, Biscuit. Biscuit. Say hi. So I am at Parish and Greg's at Ellie's. Just colored her hair out here and <laughs> She looks a little bit like a murder victim for a minute. She still kind of does. I'm so sorry. But um, we're just letting it process now. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, we're just gonna hang out. She's taking some selfies. I know. So that's good. This is Parish from Greg's backyard and they have a really nice new fence. See this deck? This is actually where they're gonna get married out here in their backyard and they have a ridiculous back patio it's probably the size that my entire house was um so you see like the sectional greg has like three tvs set up or something and then they have an outdoor kitchen yeah um they're living the life they're living the life aren't you i don't really yell outside oh so mostly greg comes out here and watches the stars or other sports? Yeah, I just sit up my room. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it is pretty sad. Why do you just sit in your room? No, I have nothing better to do. That's not true. You have lots of things you can do. You could do music things, art yeah. things. Well, I do that in my room. Oh, she does it in her room. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm really excited about it because the gray is starting to pop back. Pop back, blah, blah, blah. back up. This looks really gray right now, but it might be the lighting. I'm not sure. So anyway, just waiting out here for a little bit. So um, I got home. Ellie and I got water burger. You can hear that, right? Um, I got home. We got in the pool, and then while I was changing, I heard a lot of screaming and shouting. So I think Severa won. Or or oh, I can hear it again. <sighs> just kidding. Um, I guess he's doing well. He must be doing well. So, yeah. So the fact that I even know the name Severa tells you a lot. I've grown. Now they're singing. I'm a little scared to go in there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'll be fine. I definitely got some sun though. I'm all burned. They're really excited. That's, I'm, I'm happy for them. That's great. Um, I don't know what's happening. Good morning. It is Saturday. 
We are continuing last week's vlog because I am not going to be here all week. So we are having our coffee by the pool today. And that's that. So I recorded a whole thing. Didn't hit record. So I was supposed to leave at 1210 to go to my hair appointment. And Kelly had ordered groceries for the week and the delivery got there and I was like, oh yeah, I'll bring those in real quick. While we're putting them away, totally forgot that I was supposed to be leaving for my hair appointment. So I left at 12.15 instead. It's fine. What's really funny is that I started going to this stylist, I want to say two or three years ago, when I lived in Fort Worth proper. Like, I lived further south than my mom does even. And she's up here in the city that I now live in. So it's very convenient now because she's just, you know, hop, skip, and a jump way. So I'm going to go get my hair did, did, get my roots touched up because the gray's coming back in. Get a little trim just in time for vacay. So I leave the day after tomorrow, guys. That's really wild to me. I've been anticipating this for like a year. Like, that's when the ball started rolling that, you know what, I want to go on a solo trip to Disney. So... Anyway, we have a day after tomorrow. Crazy. But um, Kelly and I also have a date night tonight. We're going to go, I might have already talked about this, but we're going to go to Olive Garden and we got tickets to the Fall Guy, I believe. Um, which I kind of want to see because it looks funny. It's action y and funny. So that's what we're going to do. And um, another little funny side story. This Olive Garden is right next to Mi Pueblo, where we went for our four-month anniversary last week, and which is where we had our first date, first, first date, nine years ago. And um, I went there after we went to Meow Wolf. I think I'll put the link, I think it's up there, to that video above. But um, I remember <laughs> we went to that Olive Garden. I was like, oh. There's me, Pueblo, where I went on that date with the music teacher and never called me back or texted me back. <laughs> and then four days later, we reconnected. I just find all those coincidences in life fascinating. I find it fascinating that we went out on a date nine years ago. I was super into her and we never spoke again. And I think I mentioned, I mentioned in our video last week that I was a little bummed. I was a little bummed, but I also didn't reach back out. So, I mean... I'm at fault too here. Nobody's at fault. I don't mean it like that. Like, you know, just, the timing just wasn't right. So I just find stuff like that fascinating. Yeah, four days before we started talking, I went to that Olive Garden. Oh, and remembered our date to meet Pueblo. Funny. Okay. Bye. So I am done. I told her I wanted to kind of go back to my curly roots. My hair is just not as curly as it used to be though. And also one of the hazards of getting your roots touched up is horrible stains on my face. So I just stopped by Walgreens to get some rubbing alcohol and those little cotton pads. So I'm going to try and work on that when I get home. But anyway, hair's done. My roots are all touched up. She never parts it like she never parts it like straight. She just kind of lets my hair do what it does. And that always drives me a little bonkers. But I did stop by Walgreens, as I mentioned. But I also got some um, curl product I'm going to try out. Because it was like buy one, get one 50% off. And Kelly loves a good deal. So that's rubbing off on me. And um, I was like, that's a good deal. But anyway, so I'm going to go home and try and get this off of my face before we go out tonight. This happened last time too. We had a date scheduled that night as well. I think it was our three month anniversary and I was just had like a fade like from hair color. So anyway, I also got a big red Funyuns that just sounded comforting right now. I will check in with you guys again later. It's an Olive Garden date night. Breadsticks, yay! We got the soup and salad and breadsticks, but we didn't get breadsticks yet. We're plates for salad. Kelly's very sad. <laughs> so we're leaving Olive Garden. We had a very filling dinner. I'm very full. You're very full. Yeah, the service was not so great. Oh yeah, that poor guy. He was it was a little rough. We still tipped him, don't worry. 
And um, now we're going to go see the movie. Fall Guy. Fall Guy. It starts in 30 minutes. And, but we're really close to the theater. So. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so that is the scoop. We're up at 8 a.m. to watch the men's finals at Roland Garros, which is the French Open. See, I learned things. Yeah, you do. I know things. It's Alcaraz versus Zverev, and um, we're drinking iced coffee. And that Kelly made out of a carton. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it. Yeah, oh, but it's Sunday, and it's starting, so we'll see you later. friends for brunch today we've been watching tennis since it came on um i don't know who's winning i think they were tied up like their first two sets but i'm not sure so anyway we're gonna leave and then it's gonna be like me just getting ready to leave tomorrow <laughs> tennis we have arrived at our destination i don't know if john and jane are here i haven't gotten a text from them yet they could be they're usually early so you ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. She's ready. So we're gonna head on in. We're going to a press cafe, which I haven't been to. And I know we have a reservation, so it's okay. Having terrible FOMO right now because Kelly and Kaylin are in the pool. I am packing. Right now I'm sorting vitamins. It's super fun. But Kelly and I went to lunch at press cafe or brunch. Um, and to meet my friends Gina and John and she had the chicken and waffles. She really liked the chicken. I tried to buy it. It was really good. The waffles were just mid and I had the stuffed French toast, which was great. I ordered a side of bacon and had one piece of it. It was like four pieces. It was way too much bacon. Um, but I had a Bloody Mary. It was fantastic. I think she had an ice latte, which is a little check and see what she thought of that. But I am going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog for this week since it went over a little bit so that I can get it edited hopefully tonight. I still have to finish packing and sorting medication. I need to do my nails because they look terrible and I have to be at the airport at 4 o'clock tomorrow. So no, 5 o'clock. We're leaving like at 4.15. So anyway, thank you for sticking around. Please comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you after my Florida trip. But you will see me and my Florida vlogs pretty soon. Bye.